The next set of questions is on facial recognition technology. Asim Thank you very much. Um, so, yes, quite a lot of questions about this. Um, first of all, to Mark. Um, we scheduled this, these Q&As in the anticipation that the, um, result, the independent evaluation of the 10 trials that have been carried out of live facial recognition might be published. We were expecting it very soon. Um, it hasn't been yet, so when, when, will, that publication, when will that be published? Um, and can you give us any kind of rundown now of its broad conclusions? Um, so, to answer to the first question, my understanding is it's due to be released um, imminently, possibly even later on today. Um, that would be amazing timing, considering we've had this on the agenda for a while, um, okay. for us not to be able to interrogate its, its so, conclusions so today. The, 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 it is an independent evaluation, so it's not in our control, the, 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 um, um, the, the timing of that. But as, as I understood uh, it, the last time we, we checked in with the researchers themselves, they, they'd sent you the results and they were allowing you right to reply in any kind of sign-off process so on that's, them there's, first. There's, so you yeah. were in control of the timing, as far as I can tell. Um, no, we, so uh, that's a standard for this sort of work. We were given opportunity to check, yep. um, you know, for accuracy and so on. Um, I don't think that's my, I, I, I don't know, I'm not close enough to that particular process and I'm, I haven't read the report, so I don't know the, it, the answer to your second question. I I'm not in a position to say what, the, what, the, um, what we're expecting to hear later on today. Um, but um, the, the, um, the process of us, uh, our, um, our kind of factual checking, if you like, or commentary on the report is not, um, is not in my understanding, in my knowledge, not been an, an issue in, in the timing. I would, I would just, just to, I, sorry, I'm going off topic now, but um, I'd be astounded if you published that hours after a meeting of the Police and Crime Committee, which is the main scrutiny body for the maps. That would be, so that would feel very wrong to me. Okay, that may, I understand the point, but my understanding is that the publication of the report is, an, is a decision by the authors of the report, and it is an independent report. It is not a, not a decision for us. It's my understanding of the position. Okay. Um, alongside that, um, the Met is carrying out a technical evaluation report of its own. Yeah. Um, I believe that's being published alongside the research. Is that correct? Is that also later today? Um, no, I don't. Not again. As far as I'm aware, that's not happening today. No. Will um, you be publishing the technical evaluation report? Um, I, yeah, in due course, yes. When it's when it's completed. Um, this is, this is a matter of great public interest. We know in that fa facial recognition, we want to be transparent and open about what we're doing. Uh, this isn't a secret, there's no secrets about what we're trying to achieve or what we're trying to do or the work, we do, the tests we're doing and so on. And we're very open to the, um, to the, um, uh, to the input we've had from um, both our own internal evaluation and from other people like the ethics panel and their work on it. And we'll be um, obviously looking at the, um, at the, at the, um, the, the report from Essex. So, um, yeah, there's nothing secret in what we're doing on the, um, on, on the facial recognition. Okay, it would make sense to publish those two documents together if they both are ready. So I wasn't aware until uh, last night that the Essex report was going to be published today. As I say that, I don't, and my understanding is that's neither were um, um, colleagues, but I can't be absolutely sure of that. Um, so we don't, ha as I said, we don't have control over the timing of the publication of the Essex report, and um, um, so I'm not sure that we would. You know, the fact that we have short notice around when the actual publication date is going to be. Um, I don't think we're in a position to publish our independent evaluation yet, um, our, our, our technical evaluation yet, um, but um, um, okay. when, when we can, we will. Um, in terms of broad conclusions, obviously you've, you'll have seen um, the, the report from um, Essex University. There was a presentation a, a few weeks ago of some broad conclusions. Can you tell us what the main lessons you've learned from the trials? Uh, I noticed that some of the outstanding issues are accuracy, bias, um, the issue of giving making sure people are informed, um, so there's, there's consent for its use, um, issues with the ability to withhold consent um, from being scanned. Um, are, you, are you able to talk about any of those issues and what you've learned? So as I, as I say, the Essex, the Essex report is, so I wasn't at the presentation, uh, I know that the discussions on emerging findings have gone along, but I haven't, haven't read the final report, so I'm not in a position to comment on that, I'm afraid, in, in detail. Um, I know there's been obviously things that we've discovered as we've gone along, things we've been working on, and we'll see how that comes out in terms of recommendations and findings and where, where we go with that. We've stopped current work on, on facial recognition in terms of you know, active operational use of it, so we can take stock of where we are, recognising, as I say, that this is, um, there's a huge, huge public interest in this, as well as obviously an operational interest from our point of view. Um, 
but um, we'll, um, we'll, we'll, we'll see where, what the recommendations from the Essex report are, at, at, you might say, in my understanding, later today, and we'll, um, um, we'll be very keen to, to, to learn the lessons from that. Other, other issues that we've raised in this committee, slightly outside of the remit um, of the trials, is um, what uh, the Met is doing in terms of uh, managing its watch list that it might use for mm. facial recognition, um, including which data sources it might be using. We've asked, um, for example, whether custody images from recent climate change protests were, were being added to watch lists. Um, there's also some concern that photographs being taken by um, forward intelligence officers um, of demonstrations, including children, might be um, used to, to scan and, and put on a watch list that way as well, even without people being put in custody. Um, what can you tell us about controls on, on the, the watch list, and is this being updated even though you're not deploying the technology? So we, um, um, so I, I'm not aware of the, the issues that you, the concerns that you've just We've described. We've raised it with the commissioner here, and we were promised some more information. I, you're right, I'm not. I'm, so I, I'm, I'm, that, 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 I don't. I don't doubt that for a moment. I'm, I'm, I don't know the direct answer to that. It doesn't sound. I, I don't know what the, the commissioner's answer was, but I would imagine that it was not. It was that we don't use those those sources, and we haven't used those in the watch list, and that's my understanding. Um, but I say I'm not, I'm not, I don't have the detail of exactly what's in the watch lists. Watch lists, can, we, you, you can put together a watch list based on various data sets depending what the operational use you are putting a piece of technology to, whether it's ANPR, for example, to use another example, where we, you do put watch lists, in terms, watch lists onto ANPR, as we do in other systems, as for this, and watch lists can be created depending what is the, the operational purpose we're seeking to achieve, what's the, you know, the legal framework for that in terms of proportionality and so on. Uh, and what the technical um, capability of, this, of a system is to accommodate what size of watch list. Um, the, um, the principal test and purpose of the, um, the test that we have been doing was around the technical capability of the system. Um, so um, that, you know, that's been the focus as to, to less, I suppose, what is on the watch list as to whatever, whoever is on a watch list. And we, have, we know the mandate is most significant for serious violence and counter-terrorism. Whatever is on there, then then, um, um, then does the technology support the operational objectives that we're trying to achieve as part of the debate around proportionality and um, and, and um, um, the ability to operationalise the technology? Okay. Um, can I ask just three more <laughs> yes/no questions that you may not or may or not may not have the answer to? Um, will it be used at Notting Hill Carnival this year? Can you give us reassurance one way or the other? Um, there are no plans to use it at Notting Hill Carnival that I'm aware of this year, but I probably ought to check that for certain, uh, as I'm not involved in the direct planning yeah, of Carnival. Yeah, you can confirm that. I mean, last year we were told definitely not at around this I'm, time that's, of year. That's, that's my understanding. Um, there's also been reports um, of uh, Manchester police um, teaming up with Trafford Shopping Centre and using facial recognition technology off their CCTV system. Um, we are concerned about this um, and just wondered if there was any collaboration going on between private holders of CCTV and the police in terms of using facial recognition. We? What's this we? In um, so I'm not aware of the Manchester work personally. Um, I'm not aware of, again I will qualify this, but I will probably need to check to make sure because it's a big organisation, but um, uh, I'm not aware of any work other than the work that's been described in the test here that we're doing, uh, that we have been doing um, outside of that, but I would need to just check that. Yeah. I should probably what clarify also that we is me in this context, thank I'm you, sorry Chair. Yeah, <laughs> More than one of us here is concerned. <laughs> Finally on the yes or no questions. Um, there's um, been reports from a company called um, Wireless TV um, who are seemingly trying to market um, the use of facial recognition um, in integrated into body-worn cameras. And these are different body-worn cameras than the police use. Nevertheless, they're floating that idea. Um, have you been in any discussions with that um, company in the Met? I'm, com I'm completely unaware of that, um, of the company and, and what you describe. Um, so Would you be able my, to find out if there's any discussions to, taking place? To, to my knowledge, no. I know there's been, you know, there's lots of work we're doing on body-worn video as well. I've not come across it. I'm not aware of any work that links that with facial recognition directly at all. Um, I think, you know, from our point of view, very clearly, we want to, um, we want to um, act in accordance with the law, in accordance with the, um, you know, the, the framework in which um, that um, determines proportionality and so on. 
But as, the, as, um, as we've talked about in terms of technology in another context just earlier, we also want to be alive to any opportunities there are to protect the safety of Londoners through the use of technology. Um, so um, there's work we're doing on body worn video, how we can enhance that in terms of public confidence as well as um, 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 the other things body worn videos serve. Uh, and our work on um, facial recognition has been absolutely focused around is this a, an operational technology that will that will offer us opportunities to protect London as to um, you know in, 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 in an increased way than we can now? Yeah. Well, that's I mean, those are quite specific questions relating to, like like you've just said, um, developing ideas for future use if sure. if, if you get the legal go ahead. Um, and the question was really, are you are you exploring those rather than are you going to use them imminently? My answer was that um, to my, I've not heard of that particular company that you mentioned, and I'm not aware of any uh, exploration of that. But I was making the broader point, so I don't want to mislead, is we are keen to exploit any technical opportunities that are proportionate, mm. lawful, etc., that help us protect London. So, yeah. so um, I mean, they've got a story in the late evening standard. It's hard to imagine they haven't tried to get a meeting with the police. But we'll, if you could update us, that would be really useful. Um, I did want to ask the deputy mayor some questions as well. Um, you and the mayor have commissioned um, or set up the, the London Policing Ethics Panel um, and asked them to look at this. And they have reported um, at the end of May on their conclusions. And they've set uh, five conditions mm -hmm. for um, whether or not the ethical conditions these are about how it could be deployed. Um, and I just wanted to ask you what you thought of those uh, conclusions and those conditions and what else needs to happen before any further use is made of the technology in operations here. So the ethics panel uh, chaired by Suzanne Hale is a joint ethics panel between ourselves and the Metropolitan Police. So it's not, you know, we, we said the mayor set it up with the commissioner um, and I think it's really important and a really good thing that we do have an ethics panel. And yes, one of the pieces of work, really good piece of work that they've undertaken this year is to look at the ethics, ethical framework and the ethics around the use of live facial recognition. When they've published two reports, an interim report and the final report with the five recommendations, we've been really clear that there should be no further use of any of the technology until the five recommendations have been addressed. And that does also include a review of the two reports that you've referred to today from Essex as well as the technical evaluation. And I expect, and I know that that will happen. We've had conversations about that. One of the recommendations was to have robust oversight, and that's certainly something that we'll be making sure does happen. But as I said, and you know, going back to your question about Notting Hill and the body worn video, there will be no further use of live facial recognition until those recommendations have been uh, addressed. And that's something that we have um, very, you know, as an agreement between ourselves and the Metropolitan Police. Thank you very much for that. Um, obviously, this is the ethics panel, and there is more to this, i.e. there are legal issues yep. as well. Um, we've had two commissioners, um, sort of government commissioners, the surveillance camera commissioner, Tony Porter, the biometrics commissioner, Paul Wiles, who've mm -hmm. both said very critical things about um, facial recognition mm -hmm. um, and the fact that there is no current legal basis for this. Will you also say that there will not be any further use of facial recognition until there's a, a legal basis in line with what those commissioners have recommended? So one of the recommendations and one of the key things coming out of the report, the ethics panel report was the need for national, na a national framework and national regulation and a national legal framework and we are lobbying very hard on that mm -hmm. because um, we are, you know, the police are in the position where where they rightly want to uh, uh, use new technology to help keep the community safe. And I think, you know, one of the things coming out of the ethics panel report was a really interesting poll of Londoners around what would be appropriate use of uh, live facial recognition and the scale. There was much more backing from the public around much more serious offences around the use of live, live facial recognition and then going down the scale, less, uh, less agreement to the use of live facial recognition for the less serious offences. So yes, I mean, we are lobbying really hard and I think it's absolutely, the government need to step into this space. We have the judicial review of South Wales Police. Uh, I understand it's likely to come to a decision over the summer, although I don't know when that is. That will also, also be an important moment in the use of this technology. Um, so we do need to make sure that that regulation, the framework is in place to enable the police to use technology when it's ethically right to do so to keep our community safe. Okay, thank you very much. Um, I mean, I, I, the Commissioner herself, the Commissioner of Police herself, has said um, you know, that it isn't for the police to, to decide where the slider should sit on the balance between security and privacy. Um, so I think she is also keen to wait for 
Um, but I can't speak for her because she's not here today. But um, it seems to me that what you said to us is you, in the, with the powers that you have, will, will prevent its use until we've got a legal basis and those ethical conditions are met. We were really clear when the ethics panel uh, published its recommendations that they, you know, that we expect and you know the use of face, live facial recognition will not, you know, will not take place again until the recommendations have been addressed. Okay, thank you. And are you keeping oversight of ways in which the police um, might be um, doing work in the background, i.e., not deploying things but compiling? watch lists using facial recognition technology on, on, on images that might already exist and things like that that are not live facial recognition but are nevertheless things that might be of concern uh, legally and ethically towards um, the use of images of people and using facial recognition software on that. So the um, oversight that we have in terms of, um, you know, some of your questions around different organisations, well, different businesses coming to the Met, I don't have... I obviously don't have a sight of all the different conversations that happen, all the different approaches from businesses around use of whatever technology is coming in. It will come to me when there's a decision, and rightly, because the Metropolitan Police is such a huge organisation, it will come to me when a decision is there to be taken around uh, an investment decision around actually purchasing or procuring the investment. But yeah, we do, of course, there's oversight in terms of ensuring, and the audit panel will also have oversight in ensuring that there are the proper frameworks, the proper risks, and the proper accountabilities in place. Okay, thank you. That's thank you.